Welcome back to How to Build Your Own Cyber Lab at Home with Kyle Slozik. Um, in the next few lectures, we're going to talk about uh, virtualization software and kind of the pros and cons of each one, and we'll give you a, a sample of, of all of them. Um, so we're going to actually start with VMware Fusion, and uh, VMware Fusion is VMware's Mac solution. Um, I use it a lot. I have a Mac, and I, and I love VMware Fusion. It really works quite well. So uh, let's jump into it. All right. So this is what VMware Fusion looks like on Mac. And um, you can see that uh, over here on to the left here, we've got our virtual machine library and um, you know, the ones that, we've already, that I've already built. I've got an Ubuntu desktop, I've got a Kali Linux distro, Windows 7, and uh, you know, kind of a few other things going on. Um, and then you know, your main view is the current uh, VM you have selected and kind of some information on that. But let's first start by building a virtual machine. And it's really easy. You can go here and click New. And then you've got this uh, screen. You can um, install from a disk or a, an ISO image. Um, or you can import an existing PC. You can actually direct it to um, a physical machine and it will kind of copy that physical machine into a virtual. And this is great if you have like a physical lab and you want to virtualize it. But uh, we're going to start here with installing from a physical disk here. So we'll hit continue, and you can see on my desktop here, I've got a Ubuntu uh, ISO, so I'm going to actually go and select that. Go to my desktop, click on the Ubuntu, and you can see here, it recognizes the ISO as Ubuntu 64-bit, and we'll continue, and we're going to use the easy install. A lot of um, the more popular versions of Linux and Windows have this easy install feature in VMware, which basically means that you just set up all the features all the settings here, you know, name and password, and it just does the rest for you. Um, so I'm just putting a password. And we'll hit continue. And it says, you know, here's what we recommend. Recommend a 20 gig hard drive, one gig of memory, and NAT. So we'll finish that. Go and uh, save it off. I'll do that. Actually, I might come back. Yep. And then you can see that um, it'll start up here. I'm actually going to stop it um, because I have already created the virtual machine for time's sake. So you can see that I've got this right here. And um, it's actually running down over here. And here you go. I mean, it, it, it took about 20 minutes to install. And uh, it's rearing and ready to go. Now. In this window, you can do a couple of things. You can click on this button here, and that brings up all your settings. Let's go through one of the, each of these settings one by one and just kind of show you what each of them does. Uh, the general setting here is pretty s simplistic, right? It gives you how big the hard drive, how much size is actually being taken up of the hard drive. Um, and then, you know, a little bit of information. You can take some notes on it if you want. Sharing allows you to share folders between the virtual machine and the guest host. So anything you put in either in the folder and on either machine will actually be synced across. Application menu um, allows you, if you've got running a Windows or something, you can actually um, add specific applications to the host operating system. So you can run those. Uh, keyboard and mouse, I don't think we need to go over that but process and memory right here. Um, if the virtual machine were off, I could change it to say I want more than one core um, or more than 1024 meg. And you can see right here, I've got about 16 gig of memory in my, on my Mac, so I can, uh, I can allocate more memory if I want. And then display, um, you know, if you want it to have uh, 3D graphics, you can turn that on. Um, you know, 3D graphics in, in VMware are, is kind of funky. Um, doesn't work all the time, but uh, play around with it. See if it works for you for your applications. The big one here, network adapter. This is important. Um, you we talked about this in future lectures, how um, networking works in VM and virtualized environments. So what we want to do is internet sharing, share with my Mac. And this is, this is our NAT. This is network address translation. Um, you can do bridged, and I can say I want it only bridged on the Wi-Fi or only bridged on my Thunderbolt Ethernet. Um, and then custom private to Mac, you can actually set um, you know, cust your own custom um, 
private networks here, and they won't communicate out with the internet. Uh, the hard drive is pretty simple. If uh, I wanted to add another hard drive, I could. Um, I, the, the machine has to be off in order to do that. Um, I've got two CD drives. I can mount a uh, CD, um, choose a disk or a disk image, and I can go and mount a, an ISO image, and then it'll be mounted in the, in the virtual machine. You get your sound card. You can turn the sound on and off. Uh, USB and Bluetooth. I think this is pretty cool. Um, I've got, you know, a memory card reader if I want to connect it to the um, the VM, I can. And actually, what I'm going to show you is really cool as well within um, VMware Fusion. I'm about to plug in a um, USB thumb drive, and you should see something pop up here. You can see right here choose where to uh, connect this. You can say connect it to Linux, which is the virtual machine running, or connect it to the, my, my Mac. And if I hit connect to Linux, I can see it. Um, it'll be mounted within my, uh, my Linux machine. So I'm just going to say connect to Linux, and that should be fun. Um, if you had a floppy drive, you could do that. You can set up printers, um, share Mac printers with it. Um, you can actually encrypt it if you want. Uh, it has to be off in order to do encryption. Um, isolation, um, you can actually drag and drop files into this and you can actually turn that feature off which would be great if you were doing um, you know, some dangerous things, some malware and whatnot. Um, and that's pretty much it for your basic functions of VMware Fusion. Um, the last thing I want to show you here is probably one of my favorite features within VMware Fusion is if you make this full screen, you can see that it actually makes the VM another screen. So I just swiped, I did a three finger swipe on the trackpad and I can go between Mac and the full screen VM. So it's pretty nifty. Um, and uh, so that's, that's pretty much it. That's VMware Fusion in a nutshell. Uh, in the next couple of lectures, we'll talk about some of the other virtualizations, but um, yeah.